Dr. Rick Wallace here, dropping in with a little special announcement for those who have followed me for any stretch of time. You know, outside of the businesses that I run, like Myriad Business Solutions, the Visionetics Institute, Odyssey Media Group, I also do a great deal of work inside of the inner city communities uh, in Houston, Dallas, and other areas. Uh, I'm asking now as we push a fundraiser that you support what the Odyssey Project is doing in the inner cities, uh, especially with programs like Black Men Lead, which is a rite of passage uh, initiative, and Restoring Ghetto for, Ghetto's Forgotten Daughters, which is a program focused on helping young girls, but boys as well, suffering from childhood sexual abuse, uh, rape, molestation, domestic abuse, uh, absentee fatherhood, and so many other things. Uh, the information will be in the box. Thank you. As my partner was saying, um, Monday's discussion about the failure of the black church within the black community has really got some folks fired up for real. <laughs> Oh, uh, I mean, folks have been hitting me up all week to voice their opinion on what was said on Monday. And the truth of the matter is, I love it. I, I really do. I, I'm telling y'all, I love it. Because with, with that discussion that we had on Monday, once again, the line has been drawn in the sand. And it's either you own the right or the left. Man, it's, it, 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 it's funny that you mentioned the line drawn in the sand. Since we arrived on this stage, right. as it plays out uh, over the history of the last nearly 400 years, the white man has consistently drew a line in the sand. And because of our feelings of inferiority, because of our indoctrination, because of our sense of self-hatred, we have each time drawn the that the line was drawn in the stand.